Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my February slash Valentine's planner to show you guys. Um, I mentioned in a previous video that I was trying to work on a December slash January planner or sorry, a December slash Christmas planner. But things just got away from me and I, I didn't even work on it, let alone show it. So I thought I would focus my efforts on the February slash Valentine's planner um, because I love, love February. It's my birthday month and Valentine's Day is my most second favorite holiday after Halloween. So... I absolutely love the way this has turned out. I've been working really hard on it. It's been quite a week for me. So I'm just really glad that I was able, I've, I've been able to get it together and show you guys. So first, as usual, I will show you the planner. And this is by Webster's Pages. And I think it's called Watermelon. I'm not 100% sure what the actual name is, but it's kind of like this bubblegum pink and I absolutely love it. It's so, so cute. I think I got this from Etsy, if I remember correctly, I think last year. And I believe the leather is faux leather, which I absolutely love because I don't use real leather. At least I hope because that would really suck if that was real leather but it doesn't feel like real leather, you know? And then um, this is the second time that I've used it and it's in perfect condition. So it's really, really good quality. Um, it looks like pretty much like it did when I first got it out of the box, There's some glitter, but otherwise perfect condition. For the charm, I just had these really cute kind of acrylic hearts in the red and in the clear. I got this from Dollarama a couple of years ago. I just thought that was really cute against the pink. When it comes to Valentine's, I've mentioned this. I absolutely love pink and red. It's my most favorite color combination. And for the pen, I have this one here that I got from Party City this year. It's got some iridescent sequins on a styrofoam heart and some fun fur and a ribbon going around the pen itself. Super, super cute pen, and the best thing is that it writes in black because I don't like to write in anything but black in my planner. Okay. So let me open my planner here. So if this is the first time you've seen a planner setup video of mine, I will start from the front. Um, some people use this section here to, you know, hold sticky notes and stickers and all that kind of thing, more functional purposes so that they can use it in the planner. I'm not like that. I just like to use this part of the planner to decorate it and make it pretty, follow a certain theme. And in this case, it's uh, Valentine's and pink and red, you know, splashes of gold, that sort of thing. And um, I'll go over everything starting with the this gold sparkly doily i've used this a couple of times now in my planner i just love the way that it looks in the back it just gives that extra sparkle it's just so super pretty and this is um some paper of this pattern that i found on pinterest i think it's a piece of fabric if i remember correctly because i think i have it and it's just got these adorable perfume bottles and clutches and shoes. I went over a little bit with some silver stickles just to make them pop a little bit. And so I just printed this up on some copy paper and I just have that one sticking back here. And then this is a, I guess a journaling card that I cut out from a paper pad that I got from the Target Dollar Spot last year. And so I just have that kind of layered against the other one. So for the paper clips, I'll start with this one. I love this flower. So I cut this flower out for one of my swaps and I just fell in love with it. I didn't realize how beautiful it was until I cut it out and put it together. So I thought I would put one together and make a paper clip out of it. And this is the uh, Alt New Rose uh, that, um, I got in one of those magazines that you get at Joanne and Barnes and Noble. 
so super pretty. I love this die. And next I have this tool paper clip here. I think I've shown this one before. This one I got on Etsy and I just absolutely love the sparkly of that tool. The sparkle, I guess. This is also from Etsy and it's just this cute nail polish bottle. This I believe I got from Pinky Bows. This one here is just a heart from the Target Dollar Spot. They don't have them this year. I believe this was from last year. So I buy paper clips. I make paper clips. So pretty much, um, yeah, I, I do both. And then I have this sequin heart. I don't remember where I got that from. Maybe Etsy. This is a Prima Rose paper clip. And this came in a pack of four. These two here are paper clips I made from these crystal heart rings that I got from Dollarama. I didn't see them this year, um, but I got these ones last year. And I'm so glad I got more than one pack because, like I said, I didn't see them this year. And then finally, this is a paper clip that I made from this chiffon flower that I got on AliExpress. Okay. So, I have here one of those um, sticker die cuts that you get from Michaels this year. And I just have that secured with a Kate Spade bow. Okay, so this is the dashboard that I came up with and I did something a little bit different this time. I combined my love for planning with my new love for paper crafting. So I created this like I would create a card. So it's super dimensional. You know, I, I use a lot of die cuts and some foam. So I first cut out this sheet from the authentic paper pad. Uh, it's called Sweetheart. This one here, and I got this one a Tuesday morning. I love this paper pad. I cut out these dies, or these cuts, or I used a die to cut out these really pretty kind of corner flourishes, and I used a Spellbinders die for that. I cut out this circle, or this oval, I should say, with this really pretty frame um, that I got from AliExpress. And then I went over the sides with these flat back pearls and individually glued those on, which I got at Michael's. From the same um, Spellbinders die, I had this banner, so I cut that out. And then I had this love banner stamp that I got from Dollarama last year, and it just says love. I distressed it a little bit. I popped it up on some foam, and then I just cut out a bunch of these red glitter hearts and just kind of dispersed them all around. Like I said, I have created this like I would create a card. So let me just, it's already full. <laughs> So I did create a pocket for it just so I can protect it because it is paper and I'm going to be, you know, flipping back and forth. And so that's what I came up with. Oh, and of course, at the very center, I use my favorite, favorite greeting farm stamp. This is Cheeky Glam and she reminds me of Marilyn Monroe. I love, love her. So I colored her using my Copics and just... Yeah, absolutely love her. So I cut out that oval frame and then stamped her right in the middle. And I just created a pocket using my fuse tool. Normally I would have a shaker for a dashboard, but I decided that I would just leave it as is. So. Okay. Now, if you have seen some of my videos with regards to my planner. Some of this will be repeats because um, I've mentioned before that I like to bring or use things throughout the year. There are certain things that I will move from one planner to another. So some of this could be repeated and I do apologize, but I will go over the entire thing 
This is a ruler that I got with my Kiki K planner. It was a limited edition Met You planner that they released last year, I think. Yeah, last year. <laughs> so I just like to have a ruler in case I need to measure anything. This is my year at a glance. I like to have a full year in case I need to look at dates. Although now that I think about it, it's probably easier if I just use my phone. <laughs> but it's pretty, so I really like that. I just found this image on Pinterest and I created my calendar around it. On the other side, I have my statutory holidays because these are days that I will be off. <laughs> so I want to know when I'm off work. So I just have a list of them. And so I can just quickly refer back to this. This is something that I used in my last year's Valentine planner and it's this really cute red heart foil treat bag that I got from Hobby Lobby. This is something new. Um, so getting further into my paper crafting, I really understand the hype around Copic markers now, especially when I'm, you know, coloring my stamps and I get it. They are absolutely amazing. So I have been starting to collect some Copics and so I decided to create these sheets to keep track of which ones I have so I don't double up. So I created these Copic marker lists um, by creating a table and just listing all the colors based on the categories that they come in. So I have a sheet each for, you know, the grays, the blues, the reds. And so I'm just going to check off the ones that I have so that when I go to the store and I'm looking to buy another one, I can refer to back to this and know exactly which one I have and which ones I don't. So I used the Cheeky Glam, um, stock picture and I thought that was super cute just to kind of decorate it a little bit so I just created these sheets using my word okay this is the pocket collage that I have come up with this year and so um, when I was first planning I mean I was a planner first before a paper crafter so when I was first planning um, I discovered the pocket letter and of course I was only planning at the time so I didn't have anybody to swap with or you know join challenges or anything like that but I absolutely love the concept where you take a theme and you work around it so I really wanted one for my planner so I decided to create this pocket collage that's what I like to call it because <laughs> it's not a letter and um, I created a template using Word uh, I created a six pocket sheet and I created the pockets using my fuse tool and so I have a different one each time I have a new planner just to follow the theme of the planner because I always like to have themes when it comes to my planners and being Valentine's obviously this is what I came up with let me just okay so for the papers I used um, a Martha Stewart paper pad that I got from Dollarama last year as well as the Michaels paper pad from last year and the Michaels paper pad from this year which I haven't shown yet I will have a Michaels haul soon so stay tuned for that and so the first pocket here I had this dimensional sorry I hit the camera I had this dimensional rose sticker that I got from Dollarama I just kind of went over the edges with some red stickles to make it pop a little bit I layered a heart doily that I got from Hobby Lobby on the side here and then of course just blinged it up with some of these uh, rhinestone stickers and these heart stickers I got from Michaels. I love these stickers. I am obsessed with bears <laughs> for some reason. I'm all about teddy bears these days. So I had to, had to include this sticker. Um, here I just created a white crepe paper rosette and then stickled the edges with some copper stickles had this adorable puffy bear sticker that I got from Dollarama. They have them this year as well in case you're interested. And then just use some of these red rhinestone stickers that I got also from Dollarama. For the middle pockets, this 
these two heart stickers I got from Dollar Tree, these two acrylic rose stickers I got from Dollarama this year, and this cutie is from Hobby Lobby. And then I just used some of these enamel heart stickers you get from Michaels. For this pocket, I, I had a treat bag that I got from Dollarama, which came with this label that had this adorable heart with this cupid in the middle. I just cut the heart out. I went over the side with some Nouveau glitter drops, just kind of give it a little bit more dimension. Here is one of those die cut stickers you get from Michaels this year, and then of course some more bling. For this pocket here, I used another one of those die cut stickers you get from Michaels, and those lip stickers that I fell in love with from Hobby Lobby this year. And then some more rhinestone stickers. And then finally here, I cut out a white foam heart, and then I edged it with some of this lace. I used this cupcake sticker that I got from Hobby Lobby this year, as well as this bow, and another enamel heart sticker from Michaels, and then some more bling that I got from Dollarama. For the side, I used this really pretty foiled heart washi that I got from Michaels this year, or no, sorry, last year. It was in one of those big tubes, which I noticed they didn't have this year. I'm not sure why they don't bring back things that are so popular, but um, yeah, they didn't have the big tubes this year, so I was disappointed to see that, but I love this washi. Here is a piece of vellum. I brought this over from my LOL planner that I showed last year, and it's just a piece of vellum that I got from Hobby Lobby. I used some stays on ink and stamped a bunch of these girly images. And I love using vellum in my planners. It's a really nice way to separate things because that separates this part of my planner from my gift ideas. So I like to write down certain ideas I have for certain people so I don't forget. I'm really forgetful. <laughs> so I need something to write down so that I can refer back to it in case it doesn't come back to me by the time it comes time to buy that present. So I created these sheets for that purpose. This is a ruler that I got on Etsy. It's just got these really cute glasses on top. I could probably make this now that I think about it. But super cute. This is something new that I'm doing this year and I love this wrapping paper that I got from Winners and it's of these macarons with glitter so so pretty so I've never used wrapping paper in my planner before but I thought this was a really nice touch kind of similar to the um the vellum paper but I just really love this pattern so I had to use it and that separates this part of my planner from my just fill sheet so let me tell you, this is probably my most important part of my planner because I really need to keep track of the bills that I owe. I didn't have this for January and I was struggling. I was trying to figure out which bills I still owed, which ones I paid. I'm horrible, I know, but um, I just, I really need, I really need this sheet. And so I created these sheets last year Again, just to note the bills that I owe when they're owed and how much is owed and if I actually paid it. This really kept me organized last year. And like I said, I didn't have this for January and it was a struggle. I also have a tag to mark my place. And I used another teddy bear sticker from Dollarama. Let's see if I can get into frame. Um, I just cut out this scallop circle using one of my punches and then just used a, this adorable girl teddy bear. Um, and then I have these metallic hearts that I got from Hobby Lobby this year and then some pearl stickers that I got from Michaels two years ago? Last year? I can't remember. It was in the $1.50 bin when they actually had them. I missed that too. <laughs> okay. So here... I brought this over from last year's planner. It is a decoupaged tissue paper on some glassine paper that I made into a bag. 
and then I just kind of gave it a jagged edge on top and used one of these rhinestone hearts that I got from Hobby Lobby last year. For those of you who have watched my February planner last year, or my February setup planner last year, you will recognize this because this was my dashboard from last year. I absolutely love this, this dashboard and I had to use it again because I love this picture of Marilyn and I love the sequin mix that I used that came from Hobby Lobby. The only thing different that I'm doing this time around, um, I just put some glitter washi on the side here and that's because for some reason my paper yellowed so I wanted to cover that. But I thought that turned out pretty well. And I love, love, love this picture. This is my first divider. I used some paper from the Michaels paper pad last year called Valentine's Day. And it has some gold foiling. Super pretty. And that starts my actual schedule. So um, I looked online for inserts that suited me but I couldn't find anything. So I decided to create my own and I have created all the inserts here myself. And, um, well, no, that's not true. <laughs> there are a couple that I actually got from Michaels, but I'll show you that later. But for this one, this is what I created because I, um, really like the horizontal layout. Most of the inserts I find are vertical. So I just use I just use my word to create these. I always start with the cover of the month that we're in. And then this is my February layout. And so I like to have a month at a glance on two pages. And for this one, I found this image on Pinterest. Thought she was absolutely beautiful. I went with a little bit different color scheme instead of the the you know the in your face pink and red. <laughs> I went with a more kind of softer, subtle color color scheme and I had this script washi in my stash as well as this beautiful kind of lace washi. So I used some more of those die cut stickers as well as some more of those stickers from Michaels. These foam heart stickers I got from Dollar Tree and the lip stickers that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I love the way that's turned out. This is a paper clip that I created using one of these flowers that came from Michael's $1.50 bin. Super cute. And I haven't done my first week, which obviously is ending, but um, tomorrow I'm going to be doing the week of the 10th to the 16th. And I think I'm going to also go do the 3rd to the 9th. So I'll have a double feature I guess so stay tuned for that next I found this treat bag from Dollarama this year I thought it was super cute with the pink and the black and it was pretty much the perfect size all I had to do was punch some holes on the side and put it in so that was super easy I created this folder and I actually created this for my January planner it's the the Kind of the fur paper that came from the sugar blush paper pad from Michaels and I didn't get to use it so I thought I could probably use it for February because you know it's soft and it's it's not um, it's not it doesn't scream Christmas so I just used one of these rhinestone heart stickers I got from Dollarama to decorate it this is a divider that actually comes with the Michaels paper pad, paper pad, oh my goodness, the Michaels planner <laughs> um, that I bought. And I love using this particular one to just showcase a picture that follows the theme. And so I found this one on Pinterest and I just absolutely love her with the flower bustier. So I just use some washi to adhere her down. And that starts my to-do list and that's pretty self-explanatory they're just things I need to do this insert came with the Michaels planner as well next divider that also came from the Michaels recollections planner and then I backed it with some of this sugar blush paper pad like I said 
I was gonna have it for January and I didn't get to use it but then I saw that with the divider on top it actually still fits the theme it, I don't necessarily think it says Christmas I mean yeah they're Christmas ornaments but I think the color scheme works really well so I decided to keep it and that starts my to buy list and so this is for when I see things online when I see things being hauled and I want to buy it for myself I just have a sheet for each store and then I just write down the things that I want to buy again my planner is mainly for me not to have to remember things I just refer back to this and it's right there for me next I have another one of these dividers from Michaels or from the Michaels paper pad, I should say. And that starts another new insert that I've never shown because I just created it this year. <laughs> and it is the Projects Challenges list. Um, more and more I'm getting into paper crafting, the more challenges and the more swaps I'm entering. And so I need to keep track of, you know, the challenges or the projects that I'm working on, when they're due, who the partner is or who the host is and when I actually send it out so again this is to help keep me organized to make sure that I don't miss any deadlines I've already missed a couple because I don't pay attention and by the time I realize it it's too late for me to send anything so this way I will have it all written down and ready for me to refer back to in case I forget the date and I just created word to um I created Word. No, I used Word to create these lists. Here is the last divider that came with the Micros Recollection Planner, and I backed it with some more of the Sugar Blush paper. And that starts the wish list, which is more general, not specific like the to buy sheets. These are just more general items that I wish to have or wish to buy or need to buy for that matter. Um, for the longest time I had hand vacuum <laughs> on my wish list and I finally got that so I can check that off and there are other things that I need to buy so that's where these lists or these sheets are used for and then I have one more divider and that's just the blank pages this is my brain dump this is where I write down ideas for themes, um, planner projects, paper craft projects, birthdays, just all kinds of miscellaneous information that I like to keep handy. And then I decided to use this um, Ziploc bag that I got from Michaels a couple of years ago. And I cut these out for a separate project and I decided not to use them so I just kind of stuck them in here. And then this was a gift bag that I got from Walmart a couple of years ago and I just created a divider out of that. And I don't know if I'm going to keep this but for now I have this sheet from a list pad that I got from Winners and this heart note pad that I got from Dollar Tree and a cute little heart paper clip. So that was my February slash Valentine's planner. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I'd be more than happy to answer anything you'd like to know. And until my next video, have an awesome day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.